Hey everybody, welcome to Social Work 636, Organization and Program Development. My name is Vicki Klein. I will be your professor for this semester. I'm excited to be with you for this course. There are several ways to contact me during this semester and I do invite you to use them. First and foremost, you can always send me a message via Engage. This should be your first go-to method. I check Engage regularly and I try to get back as quickly as I can. If for some reason you're unable to get into the Engage system, send me an email via Campus Cruiser. And my Widener email is vaklein at widener.edu. My cell phone number is included here. Do feel free to call me or send me a text message to arrange a time to speak on the phone. Um, I do have a day job, so cannot usually answer during the day. So if you do call and I don't answer, please leave a voicemail if you um, reach it. You can also send me an email um, to set up a Skype call or a Big Blue Button session. Um, generally, my office hours are included here for the sake of formality. Generally, I'm online at the beginning of the week on Monday evenings or Tuesday evenings between 6 and 9 p.m. I'm generally using that time to do grading of forums and other assignments, um, so I'm always available during that time if you need some office hours to reach me. But I can also be available at request during other times. When I am teaching this class, I try to be checking regularly for messages and trying to get back to you as soon as I can. As a general rule, I find that the contact we're able to have improves both of our engagement in the course and also our experience of the course. So I really encourage you to be in touch and to contact me with any questions, concerns, or feedback you might have, or just to say hi. So a little bit about me as we get going. I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland, where I currently live, but I've lived and worked in several cities around the country and in Mexico. My personal and professional lives have often intersected in my willingness to accept risky invitations or work on the edge of a topic or project. A lot of my work has been in startup or grassroots type groups that aim to create new programs or engage in advocacy efforts. Since returning to Baltimore from Mexico a couple of years ago, I've been working as a generalist social worker with Johns Hopkins Community Physicians at the East Baltimore Medical Center. This has taken organizational practice to a whole new level going from a, a grassroots organization, non-governmental organization of 12 people to an organization of 20,000 people. So it has certainly changed my experience. I've loved, I'd love to spend more time pursuing some of these extracurricular interests that I have listed here for your reading pleasure, but there's only so much time in the day and unfortunately most of it is spent at work. So I'm honestly really excited to share this class with you. As social workers, if you haven't already, you will likely have the experience of needing to design a program proposal, sometimes for your own job or your team's funding. I spent the better part of a decade in jobs where a significant portion of time was involved in rewriting the proposals, directly communicating with funders, and proving that their investment was an effective investment of their resources. It can be stressful, but it is the reality of social service work. In these very uncertain budgetary times that we are currently living in, it's more important than ever to know how funding streams work, what alternatives exist, what makes social workers' contributions different and stand apart from others. It's important to know how to navigate um, writing effective program proposals and designing programs as we need to be ever more innovative in order to gain funding for basic necessities for our clients and their families. This course will provide an opportunity to explore the ethical issues involved in working within organizational contexts and in designing, proposing, implementing, and evaluating programs. So, Let's get into the good stuff. In addition to weekly discussion forums, there will be four main assignments in this course. Each of the assignments builds off of one another and will lead up to a cumulative pro program proposal, which is your final assignment. In week two, 
your first assignment will be due. You'll begin with an organizational capacity assessment, wherein you'll look at a selected organization and evaluate its mission, goals, practices, structure, leadership, funding, and its ability to support a new program. Following that, you'll begin a three-part program proposal. Each of the assignments will be a division of different components of the same proposal in order to focus in on each component and lead to the progressive development of the overall program proposal. For some of these sections, you will be posting them in the discussion forums in order to receive feedback from one another and also from me. I'll post a video to go over each of these in more detail closer to their due dates um, so we can get into the nitty gritty of what the requirements are for each of these assignments. The key to this class is your participation. The discussion forums are vital to your class grade and to getting the most out of the class. Discussion forums are 40% of your grade. Missing them or turning in late work, you will see that impact your grade. Generally, your initial posts are due on Thursday night and your responses are due on Sunday night. The, page requi the word requirements will be in each discussion prompt. Um, I really encourage you to use the discussion forums to deepen your experience in the class, engage with one another, challenge one another, use the discussion forums to your benefit and to um, give yourself the opportunity to truly get as much out of the class as possible. Related to engagement, I invite you to consider this section on avoiding lame responses. They may meet the word count and be technically correct, but not be demonstrative of any effort, or what I like to refer to as fluff. I invite you to avoid fluff. Don't fill in a discussion post with space fillers. I want to see the content of your thinking, and you can take a second to read an example of one that I consider to be lame. Better responses don't simply agree or disagree. They acknowledge that they really took the time to just consider the other person's work, give feedback, explain an agreement. Um, if you agree with something, explain why. Offer constructive criticism. Um, look for opportunities to compare and contrast and to offer additional resources. Get into it. You will get more out of it if you engage more in these discussions. So. A few other general rules and tidbits for this class. Proofread, proofread, proofread. I invite you to use the discussion posts to practice proofreading your work and using APA citations correctly in your discussion posts. This will definitely make it easier for your papers. Um, sometimes in discussion posts, I know that we tend to not focus too much on the the way we're writing or the way we're citing things, but I invite you to use it as an opportunity to practice because it'll make it easier later. For the writing assignments in this class, and I will go over a couple of details about writing assignments um, in the next slide, um, pretend like you understand that money and your funding and the integrity of your program depends on your ability to write well. Um, that is true when you are in the field and you are engaging in the process of program proposals. You have one opportunity many times to describe something via your writing and so you want to make it good. So I invite you to use this class as an opportunity to practice that skill. Um, so a couple of additional notes on writing for this class. The writing in this class is very technical. You're going to need to cut through a lot of layers of opinions and state facts and clearly present whatever argument it is that you're presenting, um, the specific details, specific information about your organization, specific information about the structure and the content of your program, and you're going to need to support your ideas. You'll need to do this kind of writing by stating a point and using as few words as possible. A lot of times we try to describe programs with as many words as possible 
in order to um, demonstrate that we know as much about the topic as we possibly can. But sometimes the goal of writing in advocacy or in technical writing in these kinds of projects is we need to be able to say everything we need to say in as few words as possible. And so I'll really challenge you to be able to sharpen your writing skills to present coherent program proposals. Uh, another key tip for the assignments in this class is that the detail, the directions will be very detailed. And so it will be to your benefit to follow the directions. This is true in practice as well when writing for programs and writing for funding. Funders want to see the answers to their questions. They don't want to sift through pages of information that they didn't ask for in order to hear what they want to hear. Um, it's, it's actually helpful to be able to have very specific prompts um, and be expected to follow those and provide the information that's being requested. As I mentioned before, organizational actors will judge the worth of your program based on your writing. Sometimes we do not have another chance, and so I encourage you to think about that as you present your assignments in this class. If writing is a challenge for you, I do invite you to reach out. You can start by reaching out to me. Um, talk to me about your issues. Talk to me about what you're struggling with. See if I can help you come up with a solution. Or you can write, reach out to the Writing Center. Ask for help. I really encourage you to do that. Um, challenge yourself. So I invite you to think critically about the course materials. Many of you have been in practice for a very long time. Many of you are entering practice for the first time. So I invite you to think about whether you've seen these concepts in action, when you've used them in your work, if you've already participated in some of these activities. Bring those experiences to the table and share them with your classmates. Also bring your questions, bring your concerns, bring your insecurities about um, incorporating these kinds of elements of work into your daily practice and into your education. And then finally, have fun with this. This is an opportunity to invent a program, to propose something that is in your wildest dreams that may address a need that you've been looking at in your communities or in your organizations to this point. Um, so be creative and use this as an opportunity to um, explore different skills and new opportunities for innovation. Um, if you get a second this week, please send me a message um, with a little bit of information about yourself. I really love to know who you are and what brings you here and what you hope to get out of this class. As I've said, I really invite you to be in touch with any concerns or questions. I love hearing from you and I really look forward to sharing this semester with you. Have a great seven weeks.